welcome to your love reading for the last half of April. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well, as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your Sun sign. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Libra out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to force it to. Just check out one of your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here, okay? All right, Libra. So um, for the overall energy for me as a reader is always the person that I'm reading for. That could be you, Libra, or it could be you, Crosswatcher. It's just whoever's watching the video right now. It'd be the energy that you yourself are taking on during these last two weeks of April. Everything else here is interchangeable. can be for you or the person you're dealing with, your surrounding energies, all that good stuff, right? Okay, so from the Magdalene Oracle, guys, for your overall, you have the secret. What's this? What's the secret, guys? All right, the secret. Someone will soon confide in you and the information they divulge may shock or disturb you. You may feel torn between the loyalties you have for two people and this creates a dilemma for you. What is the right thing to do? Should you divulge the information or stay silent? In your heart, you will know. Ultimately, you must be true to yourself for only in doing so can you be true to others. Revealing the truth will definitely cause upheaval, but eventually as things settle down, your honesty and courage will be appreciated. Don't dwell on feelings of guilt. Express what is in your heart, for a hidden blessing is in store for all. As a result of the coming events, both you and others will feel a sense of relief. There are positive results for all concerned. However, these can only be actualized through your courage and love. All right, so obviously transparency is best in all situations anyway. Um, sometimes we get ourselves in situations where, you know, the truth is going to hurt somebody, but... If it was you, wouldn't you want to know anyway? I know I would. I would I would never rather be in the dark about something, um, even if it sucks, right? Um, so as far as you're concerned, this might be somebody might have told you something and in telling you that, if you reveal it, it's gonna hurt someone else and it might not even be your secret. It might be theirs, but you're gonna have to just go with what you feel, all right? It's your life. Um, you can't carry something around if it's going to make you feel like garbage, right? Okay, so from the regular tarot, your overall, you have the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is a little bit of codependency, um, you know, or just plain old dependency. It could just be that you're just not single anymore. You don't want to be single anymore. Um, but anyway, if it's codependency for you or dependency, I think that that would probably just be because of the current events in the world right now. Um, everybody's probably feeling a little lost, a little dependent on something or someone, you know? It might be something as simple as that. Or it could just be that you're tired of being single. You don't want to be single anymore. Let's see. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Libra. That's too many guys, sorry. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Libra. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> the Ace of Swords reversed, holy freaking light. That's crazy, let me just see if I can put it over here. I'm gonna have to do something about that light. That is crazy bright. Anyway, Ace of Swords, so that has to do with this secret. The Ace of Swords is lack of clarity. It's like being in a fog. It's not being honest. Um, so maybe you want to be in a relationship with someone and you're not being honest about it, either with yourself or with them, or you found out that someone isn't single when they said they were, but you're trying to keep their secret for them. I'm not sure what this is here, but you, you're definitely having some, some lack of clarity issues, some fogginess type of issues, possible codependence. Um, whereas like if you reveal this secret, somebody might not be in your life anymore. And that's causing this codependent feeling. You know what I mean? Like, do you want to reveal the secret? Do you want to be honest, even though it could cause them to leave when you might be dependent on them? Um, 
that's going to be up to you. But again, like I said, life is always easier with transparency and secrets have come out eventually anyway. So I always like to bring them out on my own and not have them just like found out, you know, that's going to be up to you though. All right. Your recent past, you have the Knight of Swords. This is air. So Gemini, you and Aquarius. Um, that's having a conversation. So again, that's somebody revealing some truth to you in your recent past. Somebody either came out with something that is secret to other people or you did or you revealed some secret to someone, right? Um, and now there's this, this confusion over what to do with it, how to handle this, this recent like revelation, right? Your present, five of pentacles this is poverty mentality this is feeling um left out in the cold feeling alone rejected abandoned and this could be why you have this codependency type energy in your overall energy because you're feeling really alone you're feeling like you need someone um or you know someone else is but let's see that's earth by the way gemini or not gemini <laughs> Anyway, it's Earth energy, <laughs> Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I um, wonder why I came up with Gemini. I wonder why I just said Gemini. Probably because I just did the Knight of Swords, but and maybe Gemini is relevant in your world. Who knows? But that's Earth. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Why this Five of Pentacles for Libra? Why the Five of Pentacles for Libra? Why the Five of Pentacles for Libra? The Seven of Cups. That's just more confusion, more delusion. Um, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be that somebody was being delusional about a situation, living in kind of a fantasy world, and now that the truth's out there, somebody's feeling like, uh, like completely abandoned, like left out in the damn cold. And again, this could just be because of the way that the world is right now. Maybe you're someone who's separate from like everyone that you know. Maybe you're alone in your house. Um, maybe since this secret came out or this conversation was had, it caused you to have to leave your home or someone else to leave your home and now you're by yourself. Um, but that's why that happened because somebody was, somebody was confused or somebody was living in some type of a fantasy world. Clarify the seven of cups or somebody had a whole lot of options as far as dating and it was revealed and now somebody's, somebody's done. Clarify the Seven of Cups. The King of Cups, more water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be definitely dealing with a water sign here that had a lot of options, maybe left you feeling rejected and abandoned, or um, possibly you doing that to them. Um, with the King of Cups, though, that's a very emotionally available person, compassionate, loving, paternal um, father figure. But it may be that you just need to take on more of that, that energy. You know, be more compassionate with yourself if you're the one that's feeling rejected, abandoned, whatever. If someone leaves your life and leaves you feeling that way, that has to do with them, right? Um, and it's always to put you in a better place. If somebody's going to put you in that position, they're not meant for you anyway. So try to not be so hard on yourself if that's what's happened to you. Um, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Your immediate future, you have the Eight of Swords reverse. So that's one that you want to see reverse. That's coming out of a mental prison. It's coming out of a situation where you felt trapped, where you felt felt bound to something like you couldn't get out of it, you couldn't get out of your head, you couldn't get out of your thoughts, or they, they were feeling that way. But this is sword, so it is air, which is you, and Gemini and Aquarius, so it's probably your energy. Um, doesn't have to be, though. It's also releasing yourself from fear. If you're one of those people that is living in fear right now, you know, real paranoid and stuff, that's you're getting over that in the immediate future. So that's good. Please don't live that way. If there's something that you need to do to make yourself not be afraid, that's what you're going to want to do. Nobody should be living in fear. I don't care what's going on in the world. Okay? Um, because it's just going to make it worse. It's just going to bring you down. Um, all right. So anyway, 
in your immediate future, there is a release of fear. There is a release of, of bondage, a feeling of trapped to a situation. And it might be the codependency thing. You know, you might have felt trapped to this relationship or situation or person, whatever, because you felt dependent on them. And it might have to do with a home, with a living situation. But you, there is a release here in the immediate future, either on your end or their end. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the, oh, thank you. That was quick, guys. Four of Pentacles, Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So that's a holding back. Um, it's a holding back and it's kind of being closed off emotionally. So, um, when you release yourself from this situation where you felt like you were trapped or they did, there's going to be a closing off of emotions here. And if that's what you feel like you need to do to get out of it, then, you know, whatever, then that's what you feel like you need to do. Um, or you could be dealing with someone who's very closed off emotionally all right, your obstacle, the Eight of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You've got a lot of water here, guys. You've got some Earth, but you've got mostly water, actually. Mostly water and air. Um, so anyway, as an obstacle, the Eight of Cups. That's walking away. There's definitely somebody walking away from something here. I don't know if it's you or them, but you've got the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups here. It's walking away from a disappointing situation and somebody's feeling rejected because of it. Um, and with it being the Eight of Cups, it's like you were almost there. You almost made it to the 10. You almost made it to that happy ending, that forever after type shit, but not quite, not quite. You just couldn't get there. Um, so someone's walking away here. Let's see what happened. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Oh, the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Cups. Maybe you're both walking away. Maybe you're both just done. Um, somebody's definitely having some codependency issues here. Somebody's definitely having a problem walking away because they probably feel dependent on the other person for finances or a home life, but... There's definitely some, somebody's walking away. Let's see what else we got. Nine of Pentacles reversed again, more codependency. That light is gonna drive me freaking nuts. Anyway, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, you now have that twice. So watch out for codependency. Don't stay in a situation or feel like you can't walk away from it because you're financially or emotionally dependent on another person because that's something that you're gonna have to work on within yourself and don't let them make you feel like they need you either. You Like you can't walk away because they depend on you. Do you know what I mean? That's not healthy. Okay? So don't let that stop you from walking away from a situation that you don't want to be in. All right. Your advice, the Ace of Cups reversed. That freaking light again. I swear, if I felt like getting up, I would change it. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't. <laughs> mostly because my hair is all wet and I don't want it to get in the camera and you'll see all my wet hair um anyway the ace of cups reversed so it's not the time to embark on a new beginning in love if you're thinking of reviving this relationship that's dying it's not the time all right it's the time right now to get your emotions in check get your emotions in balance find out if you're having emotional issues find out why that is get really in touch with your emotions right now not the time to embark on anything new. Clarify the Ace of Cups reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. So you need to get your confidence back in order. All right? It's not the time to take action. It's not the time to go after something new. It's not the time to revive anything but it is the time to get your confidence back. It is the time to get your, um, your self-esteem under control, your self-worth under control. If you're having codependency issues, it all goes back to self-esteem and self-worth. Um, so that's what you wanna be working on right now, okay? Um, if you're hoping for like a new relationship right now, I'm sorry guys, it, it just doesn't look that way to me. And it's because it wouldn't be healthy. It wouldn't be healthy for you right now until you get your emotions in check, until you find out why you're feeling this way. And, you know, with the Queen of Wands reverse, it's like 
you can't control anything. You can't be demanding. You can't be controlling. You can't demand that somebody has these emotions for you. If they don't, they don't. And nobody can demand that of you either. So you just have to look at the situation for exactly what it is, you know, and not what you want it to be with the Seven of Cups, you know, being a little delusional here. And again, this could be them. This doesn't have to be you. But what you need to work on, your advice right now is to get your emotions under control. Find out why you feel the way that you do. If you're feeling like you can't leave this situation, but you want to, find out why that is. Get your confidence back. Find out what your passions are, you, yourself, without all of this. Okay? All right. I love you guys. I will talk to you in May.